thank you now we are going to discuss on the topic of climate change its impact and adjustment in Nepal and the presenter Mr. Pankaj Kumar Yadav is with you all so well talking about the climate change and especially in the case of Nepal so the Nepal context the geographical boundaries starts in the south as low as 69 meters above sea level at Mushar Niyazanakpur and within the breadth of 200 kilometers it ends in the north as high as 8848 meters at the Mount Everest. So these extreme geographical features have made Nepal rich in biodiversity but with great climatic variability and vulnerability to the impact of the climate change and Nepal ranks 40th fourth no Nepal rank fourth in vulnerability so continuing Nepal is the fourth most vulnerable country in terms of climate risk and 30th in the terms of water induced disaster climate change is posing additional threat to Nepal Nepal's average annual mean temperature has increased by 0, 0.0 degrees Celsius between 1997 and 2000, 2000. So these increases are more pronounced at the higher altitude and in the winter. So there is a general increase in temperature extremes with the warmer days and the night becoming more frequent and cooler days and the nights less frequent. So a study conducted by the Nepal country vulnerability study team in 2009 has projected that the Nepal's mean annual temperature may raise by 1.5 4 degrees Celsius by 2030 and 2.8 degrees Celsius by 2060 and it will reach to 4.7 degrees Celsius by 2019. Nepal's temperature might increase by 1.2 to 1.4 degrees Celsius by 2030, 1.7 to 2.8 degrees Celsius by 2050 60 and 3 to 4.7 degrees Celsius by 90 2090 or 2100 as compared to pre 2000 as a baseline so now it's these graphs uh, here mentioned so the increased in the temperature with regarding the time period of Nepal and so beginning from 1975 to 2005 and it has shown the direct increments in the temperature now the climate change are primarily considered or concerned with so many factors that's the climate change you know the agriculture contributes to the climate change agriculture also contributes to the climate change and the climate change directly affect the agriculture they both are not the in the, the distinct terms or distinct things they are integrated with each other so while talking the climate change has caused the global warming it's caused the glacier melt meltings precipitation variabilities sea level raising rising Similarly, ocean acidifications and extreme weather events. These all are the effect of the climate change. And these all are considered as the climate change indicators. 
show the climate change indicators indicates that the climate affects the agriculture and indirectly the agriculture also contributes in increasing the climate changes so the major challenges are the food production for increasing populations is insufficient so there is a reduction in the greenhouse gases now the carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxides these all gases has been increased by the agricultural practices so the emission of greenhouse gases also modifies the climate or it plays a significant role in climate change so overall there is effect of agriculture on climate change and the climate change too has effect on the agriculture so we need to consider both the terms and work accordingly now in high himalayas in the case of nepal when you talk about nepal that in a high himalayas the glacier have retreated increase the risk of glacier lake outburst which results in the floods and avalanches gloe appears means the glacier lake outburst floods which is we yearly face these problems now in the mid hills similarly in the mid hills mountains of nepal the changes in the precipitation pattern during the monsoon have increased the frequencies of the flash and floods flash floods and the landslides severely affected the agriculture and the livelihoods of the people living in these areas they are directly concerned with their living now to adopt these changes the farmer could shift their agricultural calendars and but the uncertainty of the rainfall pattern have put them in the perpetual dilemma it can be somehow it can be tolerated by shifting the times of the calendars of the crops and the cultivations but due to the changes in the our uncertainty of the rainfall it has been to the uh, make travel song to the farmers moving towards next the climate change yeah in many villages the farmers complained about the increased occurrence of the new pests and diseases which are due to the extremity changes in the climates the appearance of the several species of the plants and the invasive species are due to the result of the climate change okay so intermittent and intermittent rainfall and the prolonged dry periods have caused the drought in many regions drought have a direct impact on ecosystems and agriculture productions with socio economic and the health consequences prolonged dry periods have also triggered many forests fire and so the emission of the black carbon from this forest fire also contributes significantly to the small atmospheric brown clot that is called as abc so abc not only impact the human health but it also weaken the monsoon pattern exacerbate the glacier melting heat and lower atmosphere and also have an adverse impact on agriculture now while community forest are some now to dealing with these all uh, problems the community forest are one of the successful stories from nepal deforestation is still in rampant and so the forest are logged for the timber and the firewood or the fuel most of them most of the people in the mountains villages use wood to cook their foods not only in the mountains but also in the hills and the tarai so in the process they also emit the black carbon and also subjected to the indoor air pollution as well as the outward climate change 
so the some major uh, some changes uh, regarding this or solving this problem so mountain communities like the Sherpas and many others like uh, in the in the hills and the Himalayas have been adopting by using the improved cooking stoves in their kitchen and also the bio briquettes by using the bio briquettes similarly in the combo village a villager installed a carbon monoxide detector to address the risk posed by the indoor air pollution Some of the alternative technologies such as the parabolic solar cookers are also being uh, becoming popular nowadays. On a clear day, it can boil 5 liters of the water in one hour. It is a good adoption strategy and can be adopted by the many farmers if they are properly installed in that village or in the required places. In the recent year, many rural road development activities have been initiated with no regard to the environmental and the ecological sustainability of the ecosystem. This also results in vital changes in the, in the environments and the ecosystems and indirectly causing the climate change and which also impact the same ecosystems and the biodiversity. Now, some of the strategies by which we can deal with these all climate change uh, that's by adopting the climate smart traditional agriculture practices, climate smart traditional farming have replaced it with uh, some of the new techniques which includes the agroforestry practices in which we can uh, take the consumption of the products which have been used or produced from our own uh, garden areas. <clears throat> Similarly, we can apply some intercropping, we can apply the crop rotation techniques, we can uh, uh, use the cover cropping. Uh, similarly, the traditional organic uh, composting can be used or integrated crop animals farming. Some of the uh, the governmental agencies and governmental NGOs, INGOs have been used or working in these fields. USAID Climate Smart Agriculture Based Management Practices Workshops have been occurred and Knowledge Exchange Initiative for the region of the Latin Americas and the Caribbean. USAID it works by the whole and the countries around the world. Now, impact of uh, impact on agriculture. Nepal's agriculture is facing a risk due to the changes in the reliability of the stream flow of more intense and potentially erratic monsoon. Rainfalls and flooding. Around about 64% of the cultivated areas are fully dependent on the monsoon rainfall decline in the rainfall from the November to April adversely affects the winter and the spring crops rice yields are sensitive to the climatic condition and may fall in the western region and it may threaten overall the food security a study carried out by the BR Regmi and BR Adhikari A Adhikari in 2007 reveals that the climate change is posing threat to the food security due to the loss of some local land races and crop initial national commission national communi uh, commun communications 2004 states that with the increase of temperature beyond 4 degrees celsius the yield of the tarai rice is projected to decrease these all are the effect of the climate changes. The effect of temperature on the rice crops in the high hill is little more severe than that in the Tarai. But in mountain region it is better but rice is grown negligibly there so it doesn't make any sense. The yield of the wheat is projected to fall down with the rise in the temperature in the Tarai. The effect of temperature on the wheat yields is in the hills is less than that in the Tarai. There is 
insignificant decline of the wheat yields in mountains environment with rise in temperature. The rise in temperature will affect the yield of the maize crops in Tharai more than that of the wheat and the rice crops. It affects less in the hills than in the Tharai, but it also increases the production of maize in mountain areas. Similarly, looking towards the impact of on livestock, the livestock production is highly sensitive to the climate change. Rising temperature increases the lignification of the plant tissues and reduces the digestibility to the plant, which reduces the meat and the milk production in range-based livestock production. Increased heat stress is another pathway affecting the livestock production. The increased heat alters the heat exchange between the animals and the environment, affecting the feed intake and the metabolism. Such stresses will affect growth and the productivity of the animals, but effects vary from species to species, whether water buffaloes need a uh, frequent bath for heat. Uh, exchange. Drying of the pond due to drought can deprive the buffaloes from taking bath affecting adversely the productivity of the potatoes. No buffaloes. Similarly, the increased energy deficit may decrease the cow fertility, fitness and longevity. Increased in temperature and humidity will increase the risk of mortality and morbidity among the livestock and the poultry. Now, some of the adaptive techniques or adaptive initiatives include the government of Nepal prepared the NAPA in 2010 to address the urgent and immediate adoption. Needs through a consultative and environment driven process. NAPA is a strategic tool to address the climatic vulnerabilities and the sustainability. Mm, symmetrically response to the climate change and adoption issues by developing appropriate adoption measures. Out of about 250 adoption options proposed by the thematic working groups TWG, nine integrated project has been identified as the urgent and immediate national adoption priority. Continues, but it states that the education local information, disasters, and other environment-related areas may also have mm, to be uh, taken as entry point. Since 2013, the government is implementing 170 local adoption plan for the actions in 69 villages, development committees, and one municipalities, 14 districts in the mid and the far western region of Nepal and uh, Nepal with the support from Nepal Climate Support Program Building Climate Relations in the Nepal Project founded by UNDP and DFID and EU. The government of Nepal has approved the national <coughs> framework on the local adoption of the plant for the action framework, LAPA framework in 2011 and that helps to integrate the climate adoptions and the resilience aspects of in the long and national plans. The government of Nepal has approved the national framework uh, to the nation. LAPA Local Adoption Plan for Action Process LAPA framework consists of the seven steps and formulations which includes climate change sensitization, climate vulnerability and adoption assessment, prioritization of adoption options, LAPA formulations, LAPA integration in planning process, LAPA implementations and the LAPA progress assessment. Now at last I would like to say that the food production expansions of uh, these all things, mitigation and adoptions, there are three things. The production should not be low, it should be recoverable and it should be adopted. That these all can be combined and expressions of these all things, uh, three, uh, things will be 
कंसिडर्स इन द केस ऑफ द क्लाइंट इज नॉट ओके थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू फॉर इट इट्स